Paragraph 57 of Mystery of the Eucharist in the Life of the Church states, Pope Francis has insisted that evangelization, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ, is a task that belongs to every member of the church, not just a few specialists. All the baptized, whatever their position in the church or their level of instruction in the faith, are agents of evangelization. And it would be insufficient to envisage a plan of evangelization to be carried out by professionals while the rest of the faithful would simply be passive recipients. The new evangelization calls for personal involvement on the part of each of the baptized. He exhorts us all to become missionary disciples. Every Christian is a missionary to the extent that he or she has encountered the love of God in Christ Jesus. We no longer say that we are disciples and missionaries, but rather that we are always missionary disciples. What is essential is not that one have advanced training, but rather that one discover through Christ the love that God has for us, and that one desire to lead others to that same joyful discovery. Anyone who has truly experienced God's saving love does not need much time or lengthy training to go out and proclaim that love. All that is needed is for one who has known that love, the love that is displayed most preeminently in the Eucharist, to tell other people about it. All of us are called to offer others an explicit witness to the saving love of the Lord, who, despite our imperfections, offers us his closeness, his word, and his strength, and gives meaning to our lives. In your heart, you know that it is not the same to live without him. What you have come to realize, what has helped you to live and given you hope, is what you also need to communicate to others. Pope Francis always has words of challenge for us. Words that are so simple and yet at the same time so profound. He says at times so much with so little, it takes some time to unpack, to digest, and to fully appreciate what his message is for us and, and what that message really means for our lives. Now, this has nothing to do with those interpretation questions or whether or not he was misquoted if he was caught in a, a weak moment perhaps or, or forgot himself as he was flying from one country to another, maybe a little bit tired. Haven't we all been there? But he's instead calling us by these words that we just heard from the document, Mystery of the Eucharist in the Life of the Church. He's calling us to be missionary disciples. And he does that very plainly and very clearly. And there really is no interpretation necessary. All of us have a responsibility to proclaim the gospel by word and action. And those two basic tools of life are really all we need. John's gospel is concise in its way in relating the passion of the Lord for our solemn service of Good Friday today, the one day that the church does not celebrate Mass. There are so many testaments to Jesus as Lord laced throughout its text. They jump out to the theologian and the neophyte alike. Perhaps the most stunning act of discipleship is the stalwart witness of Mary, mother of Jesus, and with her, the beloved disciple. They stand in our place, the beloved disciple as the church, entrusted to the care of Mary, our mother, and Jesus' mother. Mary who aches for the death of her son, the death that wipes away our sins. She says not a word, nor does the beloved disciple, but they are present to each other and a model for us as the proper posture of a disciple on mission, with feet firmly planted, ready to love, ready to journey on from the shadow of the cross to the glory and light of the resurrection, not knowing where that path in between will take us. Most of us can understand the stark and simple realities of this journey as we face them each day. May we rise to the challenge of embracing the experience of the cross and never be afraid to be counted among the Lord's disciples.